I really wanted to paint Gota for the Archibald because he's an absolute superstar. He's such a wonderful and inspiring role model to Aboriginal children, demonstrating that with hard work and dedication, you really can achieve anything. He's won the NT Song of the Year, four National Indigenous Music Awards, had an ARIA nomination, had a sold out national tour and performed at the TEDx in Sydney. So even though he sings in his native tongue, you can feel his genuine emotion rippling through the speakers. And you really get a sense that you're a part of something that's very special. How are you? You know, um, I'm really, I'm really feel a blessed tonight because I see my family came and I was crying. Nearly four or five years, I missed him. You know, I live in Melbourne with my two daughters and, and my wife um, because I had a plan. So even though I started off with a sketch, I decided on the photo that I took of him on stage because that was the moment that he cried from seeing his family for the first time in years. And that's what I wanted to capture on canvas because it says so much about him and the sacrifices that he's made. The portrait incorporates half of Goda's face in front of a sunset over the ocean of Millingimby Island, depicting the two worlds that Goda walks in, reminiscing his homeland while living in Melbourne, pursuing his music career. I've painted his face in blues and greens to represent the idea of judging a person on the content of their character rather than the colour of their skin. The challenges that I faced creating this portrait were never ending. Firstly, I had so many ideas for how the painting could look that I found it hard to choose between them. Uh, I struggled to make my own canvas stretcher bar for the first time. I injured a muscle in my hand from mixing paint colours for three days um, and then I couldn't paint for a little while. Then I moved from Darwin to Newcastle and I needed to wait for all of my equipment to arrive. So it was a challenge, but you just need to persevere and stay positive. I don't represent myself or my family. I represent in black and white Australia, yeah? In the beginning when I announced I was painting Golda for the Archibald, I was very disappointed to hear some racist comments made, mocking imitations of how they imagined he would speak or sing. But once I explained who Goda is and what he's achieved, those people apologised and became more interested and more respectful. Now I would love for everyone to know who Goda is and just how beautiful his music sounds. Once this painting is sold, 10% will be donated to the GO Foundation. The GO Foundation was founded by football player Adam Goods and helps disadvantaged Aboriginal children to attend school. Previously, I sold my painting of Adam Goods and donated 100% of those funds to the GO Foundation, which paid for a student's tuition fees, uniform, laptop, stationery and excursion fees. 
So hopefully this year we can help make a difference again.